And now I am back with more Fester's Quest. Which, I am sorry that took so long, but something needed my attention from the outside world, at least for two freaking hours. So now that I am back, I am back with Great Vengeance and a map by my side to get me through where I need to go. By the way, if you want to know, if you want to know what I'm using to get through the map, I will put the, I will add the maps. The rest of the shirt, I will add the maps when the uploads are done, and and I'll just, I'll just upload the maps. For those who want to know how to get through and what I use, I'll up, I'll post the maps. On, on the on the parts that I'm, that I'm on. So now we're here. We got the key. Let's go in and take care of some business. So now we are now we are going this way. Please do not bother me while I'm recording. Well, let's see. We are going. Oh snap, I hope I didn't, I hope I didn't confuse myself, but anyway, where are we going now is we are going to find the next boss, okay, We are en route to the boss. We're going to go through this door and we're going back out of the door. Alright. Once again, I'm going through this the way it needs to be gone through, with timing and great patience. Like I said, I'm trying not to focus on it because I'm hot, sweaty, <sighs> full of gas, and probably full of something else. Emotionally wise, I am tired, but you know what? I'd rather do this than actually get some sleep. Because just because So let's see, there should be a door somewhere. If it is not there, oh shit. Here we go. This is pretty much straightforward. Basically, it's a shootout. He fires two shots. And basically all you do is fake him out. So 
all you do is basically go back and forth within these double shots. And with that, um, you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and back and forth, and keep firing. Now, either way, you can either whip the dude or gun him down. I'm only pretending to show you what I'm doing. See, look at that. Slight delay in his shots. taking care of this dude the we now have access to the last of the last of the last of the last of the areas so I think we kind of covered everything so now it now it's just us and the UFO and we found our target because we got the full clue. So what we're going to do, we're going to whip out the gun. Turn the lights on! We're going to turn the lights on this bitch. And just basically go out and bam. And believe it or not, this is the last area. So really... This is the last area. Not much to say there is there. So now we got boss music. And what does boss music mean? This means you're going to have to use the whip. So I'll be right back as soon as I take care of a little business. One second. Okay, with eight minutes remaining, let's see if we can beat this in under 15 minutes, shall we? So now... We got these slower and slow things that are so goddamn slow. It's just stupidly ridiculous. I'm glad this is like the last area and it doesn't require third person mode just to get through this area. Because more often than not, I'd be pissed at this point. So why do I have the whip in this case? Trust me, you're going to need to whip more than you need the gun here. Because the whip is far is, is by far your strongest weapon than your gun. Especially in this last area. And because we're in the last area, there ain't much to say except well. We're going to take our time getting to the last area. I 
would suggest, I would suggest the following. It'd be wise if, if you have this game on emulator or, or rather, s Nintendo. It'd be wise for you to actually go to GameFAQs, pull up the maps, pull up the Labyrinth maps. Yeah, pull out the Labyrinth map because they have the, they actually have the maps. like the opening because her eye because his eyes are that big my response that's a classic what the fuck moment there you go because that look is a classic WTF moment like what the fuck and if you tend to agree with me you know why and yet I always had to ask the question, what did Fester do just to piss him off? Did he just moon him or something? I mean, jeez. Inquiring minds want to know. I mean, it, was his smell that re repugnant? I mean, seriously. If it's that bad, my God, Fester. You made enemies for life, man. So anyway, as you can see, since this is the last area, the only advice I can say is whip those in front of you. The enemies here will take their sweet time coming towards you. So, what are we going to do? We're going to keep walking until we actually get to where we need to be. This might take a while, folks, so please. I suggest you get some coffee, some cake, some popcorn or something. Because at this rate, the way Fester is moving, well, geez, this will take a while. <laughs> you know, for a final area, this sure is laid back, isn't it? Another throwback enemy from Blaster Master. How, how wonderful. If you know what that first, that, that little thing with the tentacles is, that happens to be a little mini clone from the first boss. So, like I said, it, it's, it's going to take a while. So, I will continue this right after this.